What's up, everybody? It's your boy K Ray back at you again today. Say, so, hey, what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to do a seafood a Creole. Like most people, they'll probably do like either like crawfish or maybe shrimp. But, um, like, man, you can't go wrong if you mix all these together. So, this is what I got working. Got me some shrimp over here, about like a pound of shrimp, medium size, 5160. Got some uh, catfish fillets here and uh, some crawfish, about 12 ounce crawfish. Those are going to be my main uh, seafood ingredients. And uh, some other basic stuff tomato sauce, peeled tomatoes, a couple of cans of each, um, basic vegetables, onions, bell pepper, green onions, uh, celery, a couple of stalks of celery, and uh, serrano pepper here for a little heat. And on the seasons, I'm going to go with, um, you know, some black pepper, red pepper, oregano, thyme, basil, sea salt, ground black pepper, old bay, parsley flakes, and bay leaves. So, I'm going to get all these vegetables cut up and everything and uh, get ready for the next step. Later. All right, everybody, I'm back. As you see right here, I just got like a half a stick of margarine. You can use butter if you like, but I just like to use the margarine. And um, I just got the catfish diced up right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute, saute this off first. And um, like the seasoning on the catfish, I put about like a teaspoon of Old Bay and a teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning that I have. But you can use whatever you want. Um, you know, I just do this process first because to me, when I, um, you know, saute the fish up, it'll give it a little bit more flavor in this margarine. And then I will saute the fish up separately. It'll give it a little bit more flavor, uh, you know, with the margarine and the seasons that I put on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this, saute this up. And this will be the last thing that I put um, um, in the seafood Creole. But, you know, if you want to, um, you know, put it in, with the Creole as you go, then that, that's fine as well. But I just like doing it this way. So I'm gonna get this sauteed up and then I'll be back uh, with the next step later. All right, good to go on the fish, sauteed up. Took it about two minutes. And I did add um, probably about a teaspoon of lemon juice to it as well. And also added some of this roasted garlic and herb uh, McCormick seasoning to it to give it a little extra flavor so we get it to go on that just put that to the side and put it in later all right all right everybody i'm back and what i'm doing here is i'm making just a little a uh, light roux make it make it pretty light more like a, a blonde roux um uh for this creole and what i did was i just added um two-thirds cup of oil and one cup of flour so with the roux you already know you got to keep stirring it because if you burn it you're gonna be in big trouble so um, I'm gonna just keep this going It'll probably take about five six minutes on this and uh, when I get it together I'll be back later right I'm back as you can see I got my roux like right where I want it. It's not really even blonde. It's really close uh, to beige than anything. So, and right now I just added my onions in, which was a whole green onion. I'ma uh, just stir this, let this cook down for a little bit. I'll be back with the rest of my ingredients later. All right, I'm back. And um, at this point, I'm gonna add my tomato sauce, just a couple of eight ounce cans of tomato sauce. And two cups of water at this time. So I'm just start off with two cups of water and uh, mix everything in, blend it in. I'll probably end up using probably about um, uh, maybe 
four to six cups of water. It just depends on the uh, thickness that I want to get um, on here, the consistency that I want. So I'm going to just stir this for a little bit. Then I'll be coming back with the rest of the veggies, um, the tomatoes, and uh, my seasonings. So uh, get back with you in a little bit later. All right, I'm back. Got the the roux, tomato sauce, and the onions going right here. Still kind of thick. So what I'm gonna do is add in the uh, the tomatoes and the tomato juice, two cans. This is a 14 and a half ounce can. So two 14 and a half ounce cans right here. Stir it in real good. Come back with my veggies. These are the veggies that I had from showed in the beginning of the video. Um, two stalks of celery, one bell pepper, one serrano pepper, and green onions. So what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to add like um, uh, two tablespoons of minced garlic to this too in a little bit. But uh, at this time, I'm going to add like maybe another, another cup of water and just stir it and try to get the consistency I want. Then once I get the consistency that I want, then I will put in the seasons and let those go for about, about 35 or 40 minutes. And we'll be rocking and rolling. All right, later. All right, I'm back. Got my dry seasonings that I'm adding here. Teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of thyme leaves, teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of basil, uh, two teaspoon, two, a tablespoon of uh, cayenne pepper, a tablespoon of uh, Creole seasoning, and a teaspoon of black pepper. And I put two tablespoons of minced garlic in here already. So I'm going to blend all these in. It's going to kick that flavor up a lot for me. And also I'm going to throw like one uh, bay leaf in here. And to this point, I only have like um, four cups of water. So we're going to leave it at that for now and uh, add more later. Um, just depending on the consistency. If, he, if it thickens up too much, I'll add some more um, water to it. But at this point, we're looking pretty good. So I'm going to put the bay leaf in and just let it go for like probably about uh, a good 35 minutes on a medium-low simmer. So all the seasons and everything can mix together and get happy, happy, happy. And uh, we'll be back at you later. All right, I'm back. About 15 minutes in, everything's starting to, to take shape. So... Probably about 20 more minutes. We'll be good to go. And what I did, I just added another cup of water, making it a total of five cups of water. Got the right consistency that I want. And I did add one tablespoon of paprika to this too to, to give it a little bit, bit more darker color and a little bit more flavor. And I did two bay leaves instead of one. So those are adjustments that I made uh, during my taste testing. And uh, we looking pretty good. Be back at you in a minute. Later. All right, I'm back. And we about 25 minutes in on the Seafood Creole. And as you can see, boy, it's coming along pretty good now. So at this point, I'm just adding my okra. I got about 12 ounces of cut okra that I'm adding here. Some people don't put okra in theirs, but I gotta have okra in mine. That just, you know, sets the whole thing off to me. So I'm gonna let this okra go for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back, add my crawfish, shrimp, fish, let it simmer for about 10 more minutes. Cook me some rice. And we're gonna be good to go. Be back at you later. All right, I'm back. So what I did, I just decided to let the okra go for five minutes. Now I'm putting in my seafood. Got my crawfish here. 
12 ounces crawfish tails going in, all that there goodness for sure. Got a one pound of shrimp, clean the vein, going in. And I got my sauteed fish right here. So I'm gonna just wait probably about, let the, let the fish and shrimp, let the shrimp and crawfish go oh, for about two minutes. And then I'm gonna put my, um, my fish in, put it in just like that with the butter and everything. So, had a good flavor. Should be winding down now, later. All right, everybody, I'm back. This is my finished product. My version of seafood Creole. Um, like I said, I got catfish, shrimp, crawfish in here. And uh, season up pretty good. Get y'all close up in there. Let you see some of that goodness that's going on. Now it's time for me to put some of this goodness in my belly. Oh yeah, a little rice right there. Stir it on in. See what we got. Come up here with. Put me some shrimp and some crawfish on now. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's right on point. Nice little kick to it, not too spicy. I mean, it's like bursting, bursting, bursting with flavor. Oh yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Let some of my friends and family enjoy this too on game day Sunday. So, this is my version of seafood Creole. Tell me what you think about it. Stop by, check me out, give me a like thumbs up comment just let me know what's going on with it i definitely appreciate it like i say i appreciate all my um subscribers new and old all the viewers and uh this k ray with k ray's q texas style barbecue southern cooking and a few more things to go along with that so appreciate y'all as usual i'm out of here Peace later.